Hi everyone. That day was a day. I got a um, couple of emails and um, WhatsApp messages. Uh, what do I mean by 30 hours a day? Is it possible to have 30 hours in a day? Obviously, the answer is no. That is the very theme I have been trying to convey. Everybody has got only 24 hours a day and um, there is no difference. No less, no more. But what I mean in this series of episodes is you will have more time at your disposal. That means everybody has 24 hours. The smartest person will have time left over after doing all these activities. Whereas the hardworking, not so smart people will have the excuse, no time for doing this, no time for doing that. That is what I mean. You will have more time at your disposal. So by having more time at your disposal, you can accommodate more important life changing, value adding tasks and activities in your life for which somebody else will say no time. One way of doing it is to compress the time taken to do an activity. For example, let us take the activity of running. Let's say that 100 meters you have to cover. Can you guess how much time you need to cover that 100 meters? If you want, stop this video, go run and see with the timer. Usain Bolt can complete this 100 meters in 9.52 seconds. So start time, end time, start place, finishing place. How much time you require to swim 2 miles? Try it out if you are a swimmer. But Michael Phelps will complete this 2 miles swimming in 1.43 minutes. Here is the statistics. A sailfish could cover 200 meters in about 10 seconds. So the difference between the achievers and not so much achievers is their mindset in the investment of time. A Michael Phelps will keep the 10 seconds of a sailfish in his mind and try to reach that standard. An Usain Bolt will keep instead of 9.52 seconds, 9 seconds in his mind and try to reach that target. Whereas we complete an activity and find out how much time we to complete that activity. So the time taken from the start of an activity to the end of an activity, you reduce. In this process, you eliminate non-value adding activities and see how much time you would have spent if you had not done this exercise. So the purpose of this series of episodes is to get you more available time and in that available time, make it productive as much as possible. I hope I have explained to you what I mean by a 30 hours a day. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not already and press the bell button in the next episode we will meet. All the best.